Good morning, everyone. It's Mrs. Cote, and I'm back with a November Book of the Month for you. So this year, I wanted to make sure that I shared some of my holiday favorites with you. So I have a really good book picked out for Christmas, but I also have one for Thanksgiving. And this is a book that I've shared many, many times with many students, so I hope that you love it too. It was the night before Thanksgiving, and the illustrations and words are both by Dave Pilkey. "'Twas the day before Thanksgiving, and all through the trees, the fall leaves were spinning aloft in the breeze. Eight children had boarded their school bus with grins in hopes that a field trip soon would begin. They sang as they rode through autumn terrains while visions of drumsticks danced in their brains. Over rivers through woods, with winding and weaves, their school bus sailed on through the new fallen leaves. When out on the road, there arose such a clatter, they threw down their windows to see what was the matter. When what with their wondering eyes should they see but a miniature farm and eight tiny turkey? And a little old man, so lively and rugged, they knew in a moment it was Farmer Mac Nugget. He was dressed all in denim from his head to his toe with a pinch of polyester and a dash of Velcro. And then in a twinkling, they heard in the straw the prancing and pawing of each little claw. More rapid than chickens, his cockerels they came. He whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Ollie, now Stanley, now Larry and Moe, on Wally, on Beaver, on Shimp and Groucho. The turkeys were chunky with smiley beaked faces and they greeted the children with downy embraces. So out through the barnyard, they ran and they flew and they gobbled and giggled as friends sometimes do. When somebody spotted an ax by the door and she asked Farmer Nugget, what was it for? With a blink of his eye and a twist of his head, the old farmer told a grim tale of dread. Tonight, said McNugget, these feathery beasts will be chopped up and roasted for Thanksgiving feast. The children stood still as tears filled their eyes. Then they clamored aloud in a chorus of cries. Oh dear, cried McNugget, now what shall I do? So he dashed to the well and the teacher went too. And they fetched some water fresh from the ground in hopes that a swig might calm everyone down. And when they returned to quiet the matter, the children were calmer and mysteriously fatter. The boys and girls drank up their drinks in the hay, then thanked old Mac Nugget and waddled away. They limped to the school bus all huffing and puffing. It's not easy to walk with hot turkey stuffing. And then as the school bus drove off in the night, McNugget looked round, not a turkey in sight. Twas the night before Thanksgiving, and the stars of above shone down on a school bus abounding with love. The very next evening, eight families were blessed with eight fluffy turkeys as Thanksgiving guests. They feasted on veggies with jelly and toast, and everyone was thankful the turkeys were most. So each one gave thanks for love and for living, and they all had a wonderful, happy Thanksgiving. So I hope that all of you during this month, as we do celebrate what we're thankful for, can be thankful for so many things and express those things to your family and those around you that you love. And I really hope that you enjoy this book as much as I do. Happy reading.